welcome 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 to this five day resume challenge if you think your resume needs an upgrade you are not getting shortlisted you are not getting any interview calls this is your chance to take your resume to the next level in just five days all right so here we go see resume is your marketing material do you believe that you are able to convince the employer with this resume is your first impression are you able to present yourself well through the resume if any of the answer is no here is your chance to take this resume to the next level in just 5 days all right we are going to cover everything about resumes and more importantly how to make your resume like a magnet which attracts opportunities continuously and when you do get those opportunities when you do get some employer some recruiter look at your resume how to convince them through your resume itself so that they call you for an interview and your first impression even before they start talking to you during the interviewing process is top notch right so with these objectives let's start our 5 day resume challenge this challenge is a set of 5 videos what i want you to do watch each video on day each day immediately implement the learnings in your resume immediately all right i'll give you lot of assignments i'll give you takeaways and lot of examples so that you can implement those things for your resume immediately so that step by step one step at a time in 5 days your resume will be top notch all right so let's start this resume challenge right now let me just give you a brief overview about what's going to come for this 5 days i have specific objectives in mind day 1 is your first step about how to make your resume a magnet attracting opportunities day 2 will help your make help your resume pass through the ats the application tracking system and we'll discuss that on day 3 we'll discuss how to convince the employer how to present your skills experience expertise perfectly on your resume day 4 we'll talk about how to write the powerful summary which comes right at the top and we'll close this challenge with the day 5 and will cover typical mistakes people commit during resumes so that you don't repeat the same and this will complete your resume challenge are you ready to take this challenge with me here we go now we are on day 1 right so let me close the other days and we'll focus on day 1 how to make your resume like a magnet magnet it attracts opportunities right magnet is attractive now the magnet is attractive to the other person to other people to the employers to the recruiters right so let's see how to make your resume a magnet today we'll cover four aspects today see the first one is Let's see why your resume is not getting shortlisted in the first place. Why it is not the magnet today? The number one reason is when professionals like you get that message from an employer, send me your resume. They quickly download some template they find. They just fill it up hurriedly, whatever comes to their mind, or they just take their last resume, update it. and send it to the employers quickly haven't you done that already and during the process the perspective is resume is like my life story my career story so resume looks like oh i have done this i was with this company i have done this resume looks like your life story and it's all about you it's only from your perspective I understand what you're thinking. 
ऑफकोर्स रेज्यूम इज अबाउट यू इज ऑफकोर्स रेज्यूम इज प्रेजेंटिंग यू बट योर पर्स्पेक्टिव इज रॉन्ग एंड दैट्स वाय योर रेज्यूम इज नॉट गेटिंग शॉर्ट लिस्टेड टूडे योर पर्स्पेक्टिव इज ओनली थ्रू युअर लेंस थ्रू युअर आईज यू आर ओनली थिंकिंग अबाउट यू ओ आई आई वॉन्ट जॉब आई वॉन्ट सैलरी आई वॉन्ट दिस पोजिशन I want these companies to select me. Your perspective is only about you. Now let's see how we can change your perspective, or what should be your perspective, right? I call this as champions' perspective. My community members, Career Champions Club, they try hard to get this perspective right and this mindset. They really work hard for it. Think about this. Resume is your marketing material. Resume is your brochure. All right? It's a brochure you hand out to the employer. So you have to make your resume convince, communicate what you have to offer. Here. brochure doesn't mean you have to make your resume attractive in the sense that you have to put colors you have to design it like a brochure i don't mean that brochure talks about what you will get from that product isn't it brochure doesn't talk about what they have done what's in it for them brochure tells you exactly when you buy that product or service what you will get isn't it just like that resume should talk about when you get hired what you will sorry what you will give to the employer what will employer get see if you think like this oh i want job here is my resume please select me please find my resume attached this is like seeker's mindset are you a champion do you believe that you are winner in your career do you believe that you have something to offer to the employer that is champions mindset that is champions perspective you, you should write your resume that way you should clearly articulate what's in it for the employer if they hire you in your resume you should talk about you but from the eyes of the employer because employer is going to hire you for their benefit right employer is not going to hire you for your salary this is the clear give and take you will do this you will give this in return you will get salary position perks benefits all that very clear this is a value exchange you might not know this or you know this but you are not aware of this while making the resume but mind you employer is only thinking about that what will they get out of you right now let's see how to get, take this resume through this perspective so let's see how to inculcate champions perspective value givers perspective in your resume think about it what can you do for them now i'll give you several examples pick one of them according to your career profile according to your experience skill set education what can you do for them means the employer will you solve a problem for them will you innovate a new product or service if you are engineer or a scientist will you help them create new markets enter new geographies suppose you are in strategy type roles or sales marketing type roles will you help them do this will you help them make more money more revenue if you are a hardcore sales person will you help them reduce cost increase efficiency increase speed of operation this applies to people in operations planning or even strategy will you help them reduce risks will you help them comply with regulatory requirements if you are in accounting finance or legal roles or will you help them increase employee retention if you are like an hr what can you do for them identify one of these depending on your career profile all right and i understand 
you will not be able to do this all alone you will of course work as a team in the company but you got to identify in the big picture of the organization where do you fit in which small part of the entire puzzle you solve this is your offering to the employer think about giving first you will get a lot in return that's champions perspective so identify what can you do for them what will you do for them identify this first this will help you articulate what to write in resume and i'll show you over 5 days this will come back again and again so just right now identify this now i'll cover the next aspect make your value statement once you have identified what can you do for them you got to make your value statement okay and later i'll show you where it appears on your resume now i'll give you examples first i'll give you formula for this value statement and then i'll give you examples see this is a formula abc professional helping xyz type of companies do this with skills experience expertise knowledge write this value statement crystal clear on your notepads i'll give you several examples first i'll give you my value statement all right sorry i think yeah first i'll tell you my value statement i help professionals get their best job in 90 days with my champions job search blueprint so i help professionals do this get their dream job with what what is my experience or what is my offering with champions job search blueprint this is my value statement can you identify yours one of my student identified and wrote his value statement like this an it project manager that's him abc professional that's persona helping medium sized it companies helping who which type of companies it companies medium size he had articulated that clearly now what does he help doing that complete large it infrastructure development projects so that's his offering for the companies now with what what does he have 8 years of project management skills coupled with it infrastructure experience guys don't you think this is solid do you think your resume has this if no this is your first step don't jump on to the resume templates and start typing first step is articulating what you will do for them what's your value statement take your time no hurry take your time first articulate that maybe research self introspect look at your career history what have you done for previous companies if you have a wide profile maybe pick two three things and combine them right or pick for the next type of companies for example if you have a if you have done abc you have also done xyz but now if you want to work in pqm identify which one matches with pqm right at first think about them and then think about you okay so this completes day 1 this completes day 1 of this 5 day challenge did you think this was powerful yes please type below in the comments what were your learnings or even you can comment below your value statement i'll reply to those comments right so if you are watching this on youtube or in lms wherever you are please type below your learnings your value statement i would like to know if you have learned this right so this is day 1 of this 5 day resume challenge all right so immediately implement the learnings immediately comment below and then i'll see you on day 2 bye bye